Happy birthday, dear mommy. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. And many ice creams. <laughs> and many ice creams. Oh, thank you, Gray. That was good singing. It's your birthday. It is. It's my birthday. Woo! It's your birthday today. Yep, it is. What did you get me? A special surprise. A special surprise? Yes. Oh, what is it? This jack in the box. Oh, you got me a Jack in the Box? Yeah. Ooh, I love it. Thank you. What did you draw in here? A cake for you. A cake? Wow, I like it. And, and it even has an ice cream on it. Ooh, what flavor? Vanilla. Vanilla? Mmm, I love vanilla. Fix is pushing it off. He's trying to eat the ice cream and the cake. He thinks it's for him. Did you know that it's also Felix's birthday? Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's his birthday too. Me and Felix have the same birthday. Yes, you can have the cake and ice cream, Felix. Mmm, he says thank you. Good morning, you guys. I had to get out my camera and film Grayson because I walked in and he immediately started singing happy birthday to me, which is what we do with the kids when it's their birthday. We wake them up by singing happy birthday. So I guess Grayson thought he wanted to do that for me. It is my birthday. I am 30. Technically, I'm not officially 30 yet. My I was born at like 12.07 p.m. So still technically 29, but according to like everyone else i'm already 30 so yay i guess i don't really know what i'm doing today anthony said he has the whole day planned although usually i like to sleep in on my birthday i mean who wouldn't if you have to get up with the kids every single day of your life usually like mother's day or my birthday <laughs> i like to sleep in but anthony said he was tossing and turning all night so he's sleeping in on my birthday and I'm up with the kids. So, yeah. Um, we were going to go out to eat this morning for breakfast, but Anthony said we wouldn't have time. So he said he was going to make me breakfast, but he's sleeping. <laughs> so, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> so, this is just kind of comical right now. So, um... <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to hang out with the kids this morning and let Anthony sleep because when he doesn't sleep, um, he gets a little cranky and I'd rather him not be cranky on my birthday. So we'll see what the day has in store, I guess. Um, yeah, Anthony's kept it pretty hush. I'm going to open your present. Oh, okay. Oh. <gasps> Oh, it's a check in the box. Oh, and this drawing. This uh, is this is Felix's. This is your this is your cake and Felix's cake. Oh wow, what flavor is it? Vanilla ice cream with cherry on top. Oh my gosh, I love it. Thank you. You opened this up. I did. What a great gift from you. Thank you. Happy birthday! Thank you, Gray. Happy birthday! You have presents. I have presents. Mmm, that's pretty fun. Should we turn off your sound machine? Yes. Okay. So anyway, I don't know. Um, I'll uh, vlog here and there, and I guess we'll just <laughs> see how it goes. Grayson's looking around trying to find my presents right now, but. I don't think he really, he kept asking me what my birthday theme was, like for my birthday party, but I don't it's think he, he says it's an ice cream theme birthday. Uh, I don't think he realizes like once you get older, you don't have all that fun stuff. So the yeah, I don't have presents, honey. He's like, where are your presents? Where are the presents? Yeah, I don't have presents.
When you get to be mommy and daddy's age, you don't usually really have presents. <laughs> so, we don't have a baby book about you. Um, no, I think Grams made one a long time ago, but she only filled out a couple pages. Happy birthday to your mommy. Happy birthday to you and many more. <laughs> Thank you, Porter. You're welcome. Yeah, it's Felix's birthday today, too. Did you know that? Happy birthday to Felix <laughs> Hey guys, I thought I would narrate this vlog for you. So Anthony had an amazing day planned for me for my 30th birthday. He did so good and I took little clips along the way so I will just narrate them. After I got Anthony up from sleeping, he told me to get ready and to wear a dress, a nice dress, and to wear shoes that were sandals or heels. Don't wear shoes with socks, which made me think, hmm, maybe we're getting our nails done. <laughs> he told me to get in the car and he wasn't going to tell me where we were going. He piled all the kids in the car had no idea where we were going. He put the GPS in, told me to look away so I couldn't see the address of where we were going to. And then he just started driving. And we ended up at a nail salon and we met up with my mom and my two sisters. And Anthony had paid for all of us to go and get our fingernails and our toes done at this nail salon, which was so nice. I love getting my nails done, but it's so expensive, so I hardly ever get it done. And it was so fun to be able to do it, to meet up with my mom and my sisters. So I took a little clip of us getting our pedicures done. I went and got like a pink on my nails and then I got like more peachy color on my toes and it was so relaxing. They gave us drinks while we were there. I think I was having like a mimosa. While we were getting our pedicures done, we were getting like back massages on the chairs. It was so nice. And Anthony took the kids home and watched them all day for me so that I could just relax and not have to be a mom that day. And he knows that I love like to relax and like pamper myself. And so that's why he made that appointment. So that was fun. And then he kept each location what was happening next a surprise and so before he left me at the nail salon he gave me a bunch of envelopes that I had to wait to open throughout the day so as soon as we were done with our nail appointment I had to open the next envelope and my sister took a clip of me doing that yeah. okay. what does the next envelope say wait well this one says when you need to feed your sweet tooth no. this one oh. just says after your we know. Yeah, we know. He made us a PowerPoint. Oh, no, he yes, he did. That is an engineer with oh, with pictures God. and everything. I'll show it to you. I know. I was like, why did he put so much? Okay, just to. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Getting your nails did? Can this day get any better? <laughs> well, yes, duh. <laughs> we all know getting paper like that is some difficult work, so you must be hungry. Good thing that's the first thing on the list other than John Quick Lunch at the Avenue in Dublin on me. Mm -hmm. oh, oh my gosh, I love that. I know. You've been? So after nails, we went to lunch at a place called The Avenue, which Anthony and I went there for our anniversary like two years ago, I think. Super fancy place. They have really nice steaks. Um, I've never been there for lunch, only for dinner. So it was fun to go and we all got a drink and Anthony put his card down. Um, he like called them ahead so that we all put it on his 
card, even though it's our card together. Um, but it was super sweet and thoughtful. And again, he had the kids and was um, feeding them lunch, putting them down for naps and mostly dealing with Avery, who doesn't really like the bottle and only really likes my boobs. So it was a little hard for him, but he did really good. And then they knew it was my birthday. And so they let me pick a dessert. And so I picked cake. And so he took a picture of me with the cake. And then after lunch, I had a open my next envelope and so here is me doing that <laughs> Mm -hmm. Let's be honest, if I didn't plan this, you would have gone anyway. You must be the second stomach. <laughs> Had to kill when in Bridge Park and grab a sweet treat. And look, you did the faded background. Yes. <laughs> I'm guessing this is a $50 gift card. Uh huh. To kill wins. All right. Wow, that's a lot of money. So, Anthony knows me so well. I and really all my family love ice cream. And so that's where we headed next. We walked to ice cream and he gave us a $50 gift card, which was way too much. We did not need that much. And I called him and told him to bring the kids so that I could nurse Avery because he said that she was awake and kind of fussy and not really taking the bottle. He met up with the kids and we all got ice cream together. Didn't even use the $50 gift card. It was still way too much money, but... It was the thought that counts. The boys loved getting some vanilla ice cream, I think is what they had. And I was able to nurse Avery, which is awesome. While we were waiting for the kids to meet us for ice cream, Anthony had made up a little game for us all to play. It was a cute little game of like, who knows Shannon the best? And it was a bunch of different, like just random questions about me. It was like, what's my zodiac sign how many countries have i visited what was my car first car's name like what did i nickname it just random stuff about me and so it was fun seeing the questions he was really thoughtful and made that whole thing himself to give us something to do if we ever had downtime so it was perfect we did that then met everybody for ice cream and then at ice cream, I got to open up my next envelope, which we didn't take a video of, but it said that it was time for me to go and get a massage. Anthony had booked like, I think it was an 80, 85 minute massage at my favorite place, my favorite massage place. So he took all the kids home and my mom and sister said goodbye. And I went on my own to go and get a massage. And I think I took a picture of like the robe. <laughs> <laughs> that because I couldn't really take a picture of the massage or anything like that but it was so nice so relaxing it was like a head-to-toe massage they started at my scalp arms neck you know all of it all the way down to my toes had me flip over did my back it was so nice so relaxing the perfect amount of time if it was any longer I would have gotten like antsy and board so it was so perfect relaxing i love getting massages and anthony knows that so as soon as that was done i got out of there and then i had to open my last and final envelope so i took a picture of me with the envelope and it said to me anthony at a bar across the bridge and that he was waiting for me there so I was so excited because I was like, I hope I get to spend some of my birthday with you. It was so fun hanging with my mom and sisters. I love hanging out with them. But I also wanted to share some time with my husband too. I finally met and found him at the bar. So I took a little video of that. We went and visited a new bar that had just opened. It was a really cool vibe. We both got drinks. It was so fun that I can now drink. Um, even though I'm breastfeeding, I um can have like a drink a day and so i had a nice drink and that was so fun and anthony was all dressed up super cute he knows i love it when he dresses up and he told me that my parents had agreed to take the kids they were watching all of them they were gonna have the boys stay at their house overnight and then we would just take avery because i'm still nursing her and she's little and then I was able to nurse Avery. And then Anthony told me that he had made reservations for us downtown at a new restaurant we had never been to. Um, I think it was called Martini's. And so I was super excited about that. And so went to my parents' house, nursed Avery, and then we went out to dinner. And it was so good. I think Anthony took a picture of me. I think I got their lasagna. It was so good. And it was like super nice vibe. The only bad thing about it was the 
Paying for parking was like $19. That's why we never go downtown anymore because it's just so expensive. And then that was it. After that was done, we headed back to my parents' house, picked up Avery, came home. Anthony said he would um, make us some more drinks because Avery had gone down for the night. She's sleeping through the night now. And I have um, pumped milk if I needed it. But honestly, we were so tired. Uh, it was like such a long day, Anthony watching the kids and me just being pampered that by the time we came home, we kind of just crashed and went to bed. But it was such a nice day. It was so thoughtful of Anthony. All my favorite things. I was so pampered, relaxed. It was great. So thank you so much, Anthony, for my birthday gift. I think both he and I are happy that the 30th birthdays are now done and we agreed we wouldn't do anything big until 40th so that's 10 years away and we don't have to worry about it till then uh, well who knows where we'll be in life when that happens but uh, i think from now every birthday it was just going to be something smaller but i love my 30th birthday cannot believe i'm 30 now uh what did you like more your 20s or your 30s uh, a lot of my friends have told me that the 30s are actually the best time of your life, so we will see if that's true. But I just wanted to recap that vlog for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you what you ended up doing for your 30th birthday. I have friends, and they're all turning about 30 years old, and I have seen celebrations everywhere, anywhere from going on lavish vacations for 30th to going out like bachelorette party style with a bunch of girlfriends and getting drunk at the bars to not really doing much and just kind of like having it as a regular day. So let me know what you did for your 30th birthday. I loved mine. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.